Sexual indulgence and blissful romance. That's what makes a dream honeymoon. Tonight's subject on dangerous. And today, we have a very hot uh, celebrity. Hai hai. And of course, uh, Sharbani Mukherjee, great to have you on the show. Thank you. Welcome to Dangerous. Thanks. We'll be soft on you. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you're lucky. We're talking about uh, the honeymoon. Honeymoon, right? right? Yeah. How dangerous can it get? Tell honeymoon sex is the biggest thing. You're sharing moments and it's with the person that you want to spend the rest of your life with. So that adds to it. It's an added spice because it's like you're not in doubt about things. You're going to give yourself full-fledgedly. Mm. To this relationship. Where should they, a couple who's uh, you know just met each other for about three four months and has had an arranged marriage, where should they go? For, what's the ideal place for a for a honeymoon spot? Let's start within India first. Yeah. Uh, I think Coconut Lagoon is a very nice place. Mm -hmm. It's in the south. What do you think couples should look for in a honeymoon location? I mean, why would you pick something like that? Oh, uh, you should be cut off from the world mm. for a while. I feel. Leave your mobile phones at home and see that no relatives are around in that area. Yeah, very important. No, yeah. So you don't visit anybody while you're with each other. And I guess something that really instigates your primal instincts, no? Because obviously sex has a lot to do with a honeymoon situation. Correct. Even for the most new couple. Yeah. yeah. You get the jitters, you get nervous, I guess. But you know, sex of course is the ultimate form of intimacy. Correct. It's sharing the intimacy in a more um, primal level. What's the correct and ideal wardrobe for a honeymoon couple? Uh, I guess for uh, the girl, she should have a um, lot of sexy lingerie. Ah. A lot of uh, lace, oh, yes. <laughs> a lot of lace, a lot of g-strings, a lot of low cuts. Mm -hmm. I guess you can experiment on just wearing something loose and not wearing anything inside. Yes. So that could be exciting. Do you think sex is the only thing that's important during the honeymoon period? I guess uh, on a honeymoon you get to know each other. Besides having sex, I guess you learn to talk to each other, spend more time because you don't you never know when in life you will be able to spend this kind of time with each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Plus that feel of uh, newness and that kind of special mm. uh, moments that you share because that's what you carry on throughout your life. We have done this, we have done that, 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 I think this adds to it. Well, we do have Sharbani in the house and lots more questions we are going to ask you but before that, you have to get your sexpert cap on because you are a sexpert for a day and you are going to be helping out all those people out there with their right. problems. So right, then let's get into our first problem, come on. Okay, we've got we it. Are. This one. Mm. Is an SMS coming in from Nasik from Piyush and he says, I'm getting married in about a month and we're planning our honeymoon. Can you please give us some tips on how to please my wife in bed? Uh, well, Piyush, I would say that you go by your gut feeling, your instincts and learn to understand your wife's needs too. Learn to talk to her more. Uh, get naughty. Get yeah. naughty quite a bit. Um, get mischievous. But at the same time, understand what she's wanting too. And uh, have loads of fun, have loads of sex. Honeymoon, those the brief period of time between the I do and you better, uh, well, is a very, very cool time. It's got maximum fire out high with some explosive sex action. It's basically a time for romance, a lot of intimacy, and of course, sexual feasting. Don't make your woman feel conscious of her body. Kuch pyar bari baate kije while you work on her hot spots. Make it romantic, buddy. Making a girl comfortable is very, very important, right? True. Okay, on to another problem. Uh, this one's from Lucknow from Sangeeta. She says, I'm a virgin. I'm very nervous about having sex. I'm also getting married soon, so how should I prepare for sex? I think you should not get very hyper about the very fact that you're going to have sex. You should be more relaxed. Um, go by your instincts and your gut feeling. And um, let the man take over, I guess. You learn from him. Don't get nervous for the fact that, okay, I'm a virgin. I don't know anything because uh, nothing better than your own instincts. All right, we've got a list here, so if you can't remember, you might want to jot it down. Number one, get your beauty treatments, all right? Your skin care, all that in place um, about a month before. Also, most parlors, by the way, have special bridal packages, so you can take advantage of that. Drink plenty of water. Water is the ingredient of life. And maintain a healthy diet to look your stunning best. Secondly, you've got to be the happy, blushing bride, you know, be the dream girl. You know, it's important, you've got to relax. Take it as it comes. Be spontaneous. Sochi a month. Don't read books. Just go with the flow. As you said, trust your instincts. Correct. Yeah. And number three, you just might want to consult a gynecologist as well to discuss your specific doubts about sex and contraception. You've got to keep um, a good water-based lubricant around as well. And remember, condoms very handy. And most importantly, be safe. 
don't go by your, what your friends tell you about their experiences because they tend to scare you quite a bit. I think it's really important to remember that this is probably the most natural act in the world. And everyone eventually does go through it. And so this is your first and there's nothing to be afraid of. Also, I think you would talk to your fiancé and probably tell him that he's got to be gentle, he's got to be, you know, sweet and soft on that whole one night. If you have advice, we are here, you can tell us about our show, and you can of course go on watching us, because we certainly have lots of tips to spice up your sex life, okay? Okay, well, moving right along, we've got uh, another piece of correspondence here, coming in from Chandigarh, from Kiki. She says, I've been married for a year, and we've been having sex every day. I want to know if it's okay if I don't have sex for a few days. <laughs> will, it, will it be difficult to get aroused after a break in sex? I think everything needs a holiday once in a while and after which, I mean, if you don't have sex for a while and then you just again start off, it I think doubly adds to your pleasure. First of all, man, 365 days of non-stop sex, respect! Respect. All right, Kiki, now there's no harm, of course, in not having any sex on that one odd day. Your sex life seems to be on a roll. Nothing's going to change that. Yeah, variations in sex cycles are common. Too much, too little, too much, then nothing. Chalta rehta hai, yaar. And I don't think there's any hard and fast rule of whether you should have sex every day or three times a day or none at all for a month. I think it's really just about how you feel, you yeah, know, and how your partner yeah, feels. Right. Absolutely. Basically, take that occasional break. You'll bounce back with interest soon enough after that. I mean, sex is like swimming or driving. I mean, you never really forget the strokes and the twists and the turns, yeah. ever. Honeymoons are a lover's paradise. Romance, sex, and more sex is really what you should look for on your honeymoon. And there are ways to do that. I think we're going to take a caller right now. Hello! Hi. Hi. Hi, Kamal. How are you? Well, very nice. Very, very sexy voice this lady's got. Thank mm -hmm. you. What's the name behind your voice? Suzanne. 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 Yeah. Where are you from, Suzanne? I'm from Bombay. Bombay. Right around the corner. Yeah, pretty much. Good. Okay, Suzanne, we also have a very special guest. We have Sharbani in the house. Say hi to her. Hi, Sharbani. How are you? Hi, Suzanne. Hi. Uh, well, uh, Kamal, I've called for a reason. Okay. Uh, the thing is that uh, me and my boyfriend are getting married next month after having a long-distance relationship for a couple of years. So uh, I want to make my uh, honeymoon very sexy and special. How do you think I should do, go about that? Have you been in touch over the phone? Have you met up with him? Oh, yeah, totally, 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 totally. Oh, we were in yeah. touch, but then it's just that it's a long distance relationship. How close were you before you decided to get married and stuff? I mean, what is well, it that you feel? Well, I used to go over um, where he works um, in the UK. So we used to meet and, yeah, we've been very close. It's been a strong I guess then it's not a problem because you already are uh, used to each other's um, needs, wants, desires. Absolutely. And I guess the time span will be making it much more doubly mm -hmm. um, sizzling yes. and explosive. I hope. I like those yeah. words. Wishing you all the very best. Thank you so much. You're basically looking for tips on how to make a real sexy honeymoon happen, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Well, absolutely. here's the man to let it all out. <laughs> we'll start off with the first tip, dress to kill. What is the best chance from your honeymoon to be the ultimate seductress? So don't forget to take uh, some very sexy lacy lingerie, a lacy bodysuit or a short uh, seductive satin negligee. You know, fishnet stockings are also very, very hot. Be a tease. Start. I completely agree where he's concerned uh, what he's saying. Be a tease. Learn to tease quite a bit. Do a lot of foreplay. Okay. Which really okay. helps. Mm -hmm. Set up your sexual playground for a little fantasy. And don't forget, of course, to try some scented candles, some chocolate, a little bit of edible body paint, a little... Treat and tease and trick and treat and all that. <laughs> be the sex kitten. Can you be the sex kitten? Meow. <laughs> yeah, that's it. We got two of them in the house right now. And okay. hey, you have a great piece of literature. I mean, right here in our own backyard, the Kama Sutra. Don't be afraid to pick that up. Uh huh. Sure, I'll do that. So I hope we helped you out. Come on. Oh, yeah. Way, way beyond my expectations. Now, congratulations on your wedding and just have an amazing amount of fun. Thank Wishing you, you all so the much. very best. Thank you, thank you. Bye, Suzanne. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, Okay, here we go. It's email time. Our last problem is this. So think and think very hard, both of you. Yeah. My lovely two sex kittens. On the home stretch here. Yes. Uh, Namit from Jaipur says, My fiancé told me that she is not a virgin. I don't have any problem with that. Just that I am a virgin. Should I tell her about it? Guys. It's a reversal of roles. So I guess mm -hmm. it's good. Mm -hmm. Because then you let the girl lead you on. Mm -hmm. And uh, Namit, I guess, there's nothing to be embarrassed about or feeling shy about. I think it's a novelty situation here. 
you should let the girl take over and just go by her things and your instincts of course and there's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't tell her sex ek discovery hai it's a beautiful journey okay now there was a lot of information but i'm pretty confident that you got it just remember stay safe have fun and uh, stay relaxed most importantly और आप हमारे दूसरे दोस्त हैं वहां पर यू कैन गो ऑन राइडिंग इन टू आस आप हमें एसएमएस कर सकते हैं डेंजरस स्पेस योर मैसेज एंड सेंड इट टू 8888 वी आर गोइंग टेक अ बिट ऑफ अ ब्रीदर राइट नाउ बट वी गोट अ थैंक अ वेरी वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट फॉर कमिंग आउट हियर शिवानी थैंक यू सो मच कमिंग टू द स्टूडियोस आवर एक्सपर्ट फॉर द डे द टू किटन्स ओह या हैव अ ग्रेट टाइम